So today I'm going to show you how I use Simplify 3D and the multiple process feature to print multiple colors using a single extruder. Some examples that, of my prints that I have made are this one here. It's all made with just one extruder. This train piece with two colors. I did a little sign with using three colors. And then I also had made this one just using two colors. So we're going to start with Fusion 360. You could use any design program, but this is one I, I know the best. So let's start designing our file to print in multiple colors. So I have this model I made in Fusion 360. And I got these four colors, and each one is at a different height. When you do multiple colors using a single extruder, each color is going to be at a different height. So we have, let's, our lowest color is red. We're just going to measure to see what I set it to. So the red's only a millimeter high. So when we set up Simplify 3D, it'll be zero to one millimeter will be red filament. So everything in this square up to it will be red. And then looks like green would be our next color. And since that's two millimeters high, one millimeter to two millimeters would be green. And then I think the yellow is at three millimeters high, so two to three millimeters would be yellow. And then three to four millimeters would be the blue. So when you design your file, just try to come up with a method to have each color at a different height. You might have to do a few design tweaks to get it right. And then also have your layer height differences be a multiple of your layer height. Since these are all about a millimeter high, I can use 0.1 millimeter layer heights, 0.2. Now I can't use a uh, 0.3 millimeter height because that wouldn't evenly go into the, the height of the part. So you need to take that into consideration when you're designing the file that you'll be able to print it well. Here's a more detailed one I did. This was a remix I did of the NPR Pi Radio project by Adafruit. As you can see, I have the brown, then I go to red, black, blue, and then white to finish the design off. So we have our model loaded here in Simplify 3D. We want to set up a process for each color that we're going to use. So we'll just go over here and copy and paste. So now we want to rename these to the color and the layer height. So red 0 to 1. Green, this was 1 millimeter to 2 millimeter. Yellow was 2 to 3. And then the final color was blue, and that was three to four. All right, so now we're going to look over our process and make sure it's right. Um, red, we want, let me think here, yeah, ABS is the color I have for red. So we'll just leave that as is. Advanced. We want to stop printing at one millimeter. Look at our script. We want it to home all axes when it starts out. Ending script. We don't need to turn off the extruder or turn off the bed. We don't want the bed turned off because it might start cooling the part and just cause it to warp or pop off the bed. So we'll leave that on. And we'll also just not turn off the extruder so we don't have to manually turn it back on before the next layer. So we'll just remove those. 
and then just look at your your layer height make sure it's a multiple of the thickness for that color we'll leave all this alone now we'll look at the green which will be the second color we'll look at the code again now for this one we don't want it to to home the z-axis as long as we don't turn the printer off it'll it'll have the correct z height so we want it to home the x and the y though because while we're changing the color we might move the print bed by hand accidentally or the extruder might move so do that ending script we remove this again now green let me think what color is uh, green I'm going to be using a PLA color so it's PLA I need to adjust the temperature though because we're just going to leave the bed at the temperature from the previous color so 100 will work yellow uh, yellow is an ABS also so we'll leave that oops I forgot to in green show you where it starts and stops so it starts at one millimeter ends at two millimeter layer heights good yellow starts at two ends at three temperature mm, let's just get rid of some of these multiples we can just stay at a hundred the whole time temperature is good layer heights still good code here let's home along with x and the y again ending We'll keep those warmed up. Now we're at blue, the last color. We can just say start printing at three. That'll stop when it's done. Same thing for the start script again. Now for the ending script, we can leave the turn off the bed and turn off extruder. Because once it's done printing blue, we're done printing. Temperatures, let me just change these a bit temperature changes will be dependent on your settings or what colors you're using before this all my colors that I have are in ABS you can mix PLA and ABS as long as you keep the bed temperature to the material suitable for what the first layer was now we're going to prepare to print we're just going to look to see that it looks good in the preview. So we'll select all. And here's our preview. We see everything prints good. Now we want to check each process individually just to make sure we didn't have the layer height incorrect for one of them and that it doesn't uh, start printing where it shouldn't. So the red, we should see the whole square. We do. Green, we should only see everything except where the red was. And we do. Yellow, we should only see where yellow and blue are going to be. Alright, that looks good. And blue should only be the blue square. Alright, that's good. So now that we know our processes are all set correctly, we're going to start saving our G-code. So we'll start with red. Save. I'm going to save this to my little SD card. Um, so this is color red. Let's just name it red. This helps when you're... Oops, I have red already, so let's just one red alright now green 
You also want to yeah, number them. That helps too when you're doing it so you know which color order to go. So this is two green. Three yellow. Four blue. So now when you go to print these on your printer, start out at number one, it'll print, and then swap out your filament. You can feed it through the extruder until you only get the new color coming out, and you can then click the new file, it'll print it. So I'm going to go print these and we'll come back in a little bit. All right, so here's the finished print. We can see we got our red, then our green, then our yellow, and then our blue. If you look at the side, you can kind of see the different layers, but this piece is a little bit harder since it's so small. But that's how you do multicolor prints using multiple processes in Simplify 3D. I'll put the link to this file and down in the description maybe you'll see it down here somewhere and you can download this file then and try printing yourself in Simplify 3D simple piece took about half hour to 45 minutes to print so thanks for watching this video now you know how to do multiple colors with the single extruder I'm gonna try putting some links to my other videos here hopefully I get this part figured out if so, click them and check out some other videos I've made. Thanks. Hey, I figured it out. Check out this video here. This one's better. Okay, they're both good.